Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank. In this video, we're going to write uh, our very first Lisp program, and it's going to be the simple "Hello World," right? That you're feel undoubtedly familiar with. And to that end, I'm going to show you how to and where to download a program called C Lisp, and that's going to be the Lisp interpreter that we use. And once we've done that. I'll show you a couple of different ways of executing Lisp code. It's kind of like Python where you can execute code from the command line using the interpreter or you can you know, do it in interpreted mode where you're typing commands directly into the interpreter. Then we'll go ahead and write the hello world program and at the very end I'll show you where to go to learn more. Right? Show you how to find links to tutorials and other resources to help you learn the basics of Lisp. All right, so go ahead and fire up your favorite browser and do a search for C Lisp. Okay, you can grab the first link that pops up right, to this page right here. Welcome to C Lisp. A little dated looking, but you know, it still, still does the job. Um, under our official distribution sites, HTTP forward slash SF, that's for SourceForge, you can click that. And that'll take you to a download page for on SourceForge, so you can go and click download latest version. Right. And then you know, the window will pop up, go ahead and click save file, save it to wherever you want, on your machine. Once that download's finished, you just double click and run it. Okay, you got your setup wizard. It's gonna go by pretty quick. Right? And, and you can put this wherever you want. Um, typical is probably gonna work just fine for you. Um, I wanna put this in a different location on my hard drive than the default. I'm gonna put it on my F drive, fine. Put it wherever you want. Go ahead and hit the install. You know, it's going to do its thing. It's not going to take too long. Okay. And then once it's complete, go ahead and hit your close. And you're installed and ready to go. Then when you're ready, you can go ahead and go to your start menu and then search for C Lisp. It's actually under um, a new C Lisp, right? So you can go ahead and do that. You might want to right click and you know set that on your task taskbar for easier access later. And then you can start it by clicking on it. Alright, and then this brings up your interface. Okay. So this is one way that you can um, use this program. And from here, what you're presented with is a prompt where you can start typing in your Lisp commands, right? So there's this high level interactive loop and generally the way this works is with Lisp is you type in a command and then you know the, the interpreter in this mode will go ahead and process it for you. So if I wanted to print hello world on the screen, for example, I could print world okay. and you can see there's the response from uh, my command right so I made I made a call to the print function passed it the argument hello world and um, I've got my I got my output okay so if you want to get help you can type um, colon H and that'll give you some contextual help um, in this case if I want to just quit, since all I want to do is print a little world here, you know, I can call the quit function or exit, right? And that'll break me out. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it would be to fire up your favorite text editor. And again, in this video, I'm just trying to get you started to, uh, so you can run the program and, uh, you know, download it, install it, and run run some, some list of code here. So another way to do it is create your own source code file. Right, and 
well, maybe I'll save this on my desktop as you know, hello. And so then in here you just type in your commands. Right? So print you know hello world. Right? So once I've done that, then I can drop down to command line. And I think this is the easier way of doing it to be honest. And then you can type the name of the interpreter program and then the name file you want as an argument right and then you can see the output okay so I mean that's the basics of it I mean there, there's your first little hello world list program um, so that should get you started okay so we're back kind of on this landing page for C Lisp and you know this is an implementation of the Lisp programming language common Lisp and if you want to find out more information, get some tutorials and whatnot, you know, what you can do is, is you can click on, you know, what is C Lisp, right? And then from here, there's a link right here, Common Lisp. You can click on that. And that takes you to a site called commonlisp.net. And there's all kinds of information here. Um, you know, there's a getting started link. There's a documentation link to different books, um, a link to the list community where you can get on emailing lists, news, IRC, chats, docu different documentation. Um, you know, if you want to check out different implementations, you know, CList was one of them. That was the one that I just did, right? But there's others too, right? So, you know, pick whichever one you feel comfortable with and you know, experiment. But you can get to additional resources under libraries here. And if you scroll down, you, know, you can find out all kinds of information. Information about GUIs, um, graphics, game development, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Um, logic programming. And, but if, if you scroll down far enough, then you'll get to the learning and tutorial section. And there's a bunch of links to different uh, free online resources to kind of get you going, right? So here's a couple. Uh, that I like. Uh, I think this first one right here, Learn X and Y Minutes, right? This right here kind of just gives you a summary of, you know, brief introduction to all the different things you can do in Lisp by example, right? So you can go check this out and get an overview. Um, in my class that I teach, you know, what I do for my students is I have them take a look at um, the tutorials point site, which is, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Right, there it is, third link. So tutorials point, um, you know, learn Lisp, right? really simple, easy learning tutorial site. And it's got everything here you need to really get started covering all the different topics, all the functionality, language vectors, sets, basic syntax, macros, predicates, all that stuff, right? So, you know, check those out. Okay, so let's go ahead and summarize what we did. You know, I just went and showed you one implementation of Lisp that you can go download and install, and that's C Lisp, right? So, there's all kinds of different implementations. Do a Google search, you know, using your favorite browser. Uh, shows you that there's two different ways of executing Lisp code. There is the interpreted mode, and then there's like the command line mode, very similar to your options in Python, right? Um, so showed you how to do that, and also showed you, you know, we wrote a whole world program. You know, all we had it was pretty simple. It's just you know, print hello world. You know, that's that's how those things work, um, and showed you how to do that in both the interpreted mode and in you know, command line. And then at the end, I showed you a link to a site that has many resources you need, really, uh, to you know, get you started learning more. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button 
as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.